begin the formality of this event with a national anthem In the context of the summit and its theme, the lyric which we just heard or perhaps even sang, the national anthem, is apposite because the lyric describes in its opening stanza, Sundara Siriparani. It speaks about the beauty that nature has provided this land. And then also, a little later on in the lyric, it says, Oba, meaning you, Lanka, Anuprani, you are a life source. So sustainability then is underscored ever more when we consider how that fits in the lyric, the essence or the ethos of the lyric with what we see happening around us or could perhaps be damaging and of course the responsibility therewith. So this is not my moment, but it is the moment of Professor Lakshman R. Watavala in his capacity as a de facto host of this event and also as president of CMA to propose some introductory remarks and words of welcome. So let's invite him to the lectern, Professor Lakshman R. Watavala. Good evening to all of you. Honorable Minister of Industries and Commerce, Honorable Richard Padhudin, the President of SAFA, Mr. Mohammad Rafi, the High Commissioner of Canada in Sri Lanka, the distinguished speakers at the head table, including Professor Uditha Lienage, 
members of the foreign delegations, the heads of delegations, the uh, members of CMA, the council members, the uh, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. CMA Sri Lanka are indeed honored to host the SAFA CMA Management Accounting Summit 2012 in Colombo. In fact, the Honorable DM Jayaratna, the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka, has sent his apologies as he is indisposed. In fact, we are very sorry to miss him and we wish him a speedy recovery. This meeting today is having a large number of our SAFA members in Sri Lanka. In fact, the last two days we have been quite busy with the committee meetings and this morning with the SAFA board meeting. We have the president of SAFA, Mr. Mohammad Rafi, a past president of the Institute of Management Accountants of Pakistan, and the Vice President, Mr. Abdul Manan, a former Minister of the Bangladesh Government and a past President of the Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of Bangladesh. Together we have the heads of delegates who are present here and also a number of other delegates who are attending both the SAFA meeting as well as the SAFA CMA summit. So we are indeed thankful to them and we welcome them very warmly. To give an introduction of CMA, it was launched in the year 2000 really with the technical assistance of CMA Canada and this is one of the reasons that today we have a very special guest, His Excellency, the High Commissioner Bruce Levy, who is present here with us. They have indeed helped us. And I remember when I approached the then Minister of Trade and Commerce, he was kind enough to give me a letter in order to get this technical support and assistance from CMA, from Canada. And this helped a great way and we found that this not only brought in a new management accounting profession to Sri Lanka, but we are still continuing our links with them and this has really helped us to be a part of the global accounting bodies. Then in the year 2009, CMA was incorporated by an act of parliament. We are indeed thankful to His Excellency the President who realized the importance of local professional management accounting bodies and the Minister at that time, the Honorable Bandula Gunawadna, for the keen initiative taken together with the former ministers, the late Honorable J. Raj Fernando Kulle, who really helped us a great deal and it was during his time that we really started putting together the Act of Parliament. As you know, it takes a long time for things to go through Parliament and I'm sure our Honourable Minister uh, knows about it. And uh, of course, Honourable Kingsley Vikramaratna during who, whose time, in fact, he's the one who really uh, encouraged us to set this up. He gave a letter of, of recommendation and this really helped us to set up the CMA. Today, CMA is a national professional management accounting body in Sri Lanka and has made available its quality courses at an affordable cost to the youth of Sri Lanka. As Sri Lankans, we really have to provide the facilities to our youth. And I must tell you that today, as a Sri Lankan body, we not only have to provide the education in the English medium, but we also have to cater to the needs of the Sinhala and Tamil media. 
Of course, we ensure that during the initial periods, all those who follow the exam in the Sinhala and Tamil medium are given a good knowledge of the English medium so that at the final level, they will be able to do their exams in the English medium. And I'm happy to inform you today that with one of our members who is in India, who is based in Trichy, Mr. Chentil Kumar, he has helped us to get university lecturers in India to do the Tamil translations. And today, we will be launching the first book which will be later handed over by him to the Honorable Minister. And this shows the sort of, uh, sort of interest that we have taken. And I'm sure in the North and East, there is a big demand for it. And we will be taking necessary action with this new introduction, both in the, in the South with the Sinhala medium and the North and East in the Tamil medium, which will provide opportunities for all without depriving anyone who wants to become a professional management account. I must also thank our current minister, Honorable Johnston Fernando, who has really helped us a great deal in our activities. He has helped us at all times together with the secretary of the ministry and all his other staff. And they have really assisted the institute to go forward. CMA, CMA were elected a member of SAFA, and from that time we have been very closely involved with them. And as you know, SAFA or the South Asian Federation of Account, Accounting Bodies include India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and more recently, the Maldives. I'm also pleased to inform you that we are having a special representative from Bhutan, and this will also help us to see that SAFA could play a role in forming another body in Bhutan. Formed in 1984, SAFA has played a very important role in the development of the accounting profession in the South Asian region. I am indeed pleased to welcome the President of SAFA, Mr. Mohammad Rafi, the Vice President, Mr. Abdul Manan, and the heads of delegations of the accounting bodies for our SAFA CMA Summit. The theme of the summit is sustainability and corporate responsibility, a topic that SAFA has given the highest priority and are promoting the theme in our member countries. CMA took the initiative in this regard and are indeed pleased to organize this summit on sustainability and corporate responsibility. And we, are, we have had a tremendous response both from local and foreign participants at this summit. Sustainability and corporate responsibility are applicable to both the global and local conditions and is an area where professional accountants can play a lead role. The professional accountants in business, those who are really involved in industry and commerce, are in a position of strategic or functional leadership or otherwise well-placed to collaborate with colleagues in other disciplines to help the organizations move towards long-term sustainable success. The professional accountants in business or the PAIB Committee of the International Federation of Accountants which explains the sustainability framework states, the recognition governments and many organizations have given to the importance of sustainability and sustainable development is beginning to change business culture and society. The global challenge is to ensure that organizations develop sustainably to reverse the previous erosion of natural resources and to improve the environmental, social, and financial performance. This requires radical changes in the way they do business and the way we live our lives. This summit in Sri Lanka also coincides with the UN Global Summit on Sustainable Development taking place in Rio, where many of the world leaders will be present. So you can see the importance of sustainability in the global field. The SAFA CMA Summit will have eight technical sessions spread over two days 
plus the inauguration that has been held today and would cover a range of topics on the theme and will conclude with a panel discussion with business leaders on the corporate social responsibility and sustainability practices in business. I am indeed thankful to all the business leaders who have kindly consented to accept our invitation to, be, to participate at this panel discussion. The CMA Management Accounting Summit will have leading speakers both from local and overseas, including USA, UK, Australia, Malaysia, and the South Asian countries. In fact, we have a, a special guest from Australia, Mr. Rob Thompson. I warmly welcome him because we have a very close link with them. And in fact, we have signed a MOU with them and are currently discussing how we could take our profession forward. I wish to thank our eminent speakers and chairman for accepting our invitation for this summit. I wish to welcome our chief guest this evening, the Honorable Minister of Industry and Commerce. We are indeed grateful to him because he has been a very uh, much present in our conferences and his acceptance of our invitation has really helped us a great deal. Then we also have his Excellency the Canadian High Commissioner, the Presidents and Members of the SAFA countries and the other international accounting bodies, the Guests of Honour, the Presidents of SAFA and the Governing Board of SAFA, Government officials, leaders of business. And I must also thank the Chairman and Speakers at the sessions and all local and foreign participants who are attending the SAFA Board and Committee meetings and the SAFA CMA Summit and helping us to make these events a success. I must also pay a special word of thanks to our sponsors. In fact, they have been a great deal of strength to us. Their sponsorship has really helped us in organizing these events and doing it in a very grand manner. The donors, the Summit Hotel Taj for providing all the facilities, the printers, suppliers of souvenirs, gift packs and awards, and of course, especially the media, who have always given us the necessary support, both in the newspapers, the TV, radio, and I must also thank our advertising agents who have really played a great role in extending their support to us. Of course, I should not forget the staff members of the CMA who have been working day and night and putting their great effort into this, and also the SAFA Secretariat, because they have been working behind the scene and helping in all these activities in organizing the events that we had, and all others who have helped us in making our conference a success. Today, we are rewarding those professional accountants who have excelled in the business field, and they will receive the CMA Award for Business Excellence. I wish to congratulate them and wish them success in their future activities. I am confident that all, all participants will benefit from the very well laid down program for the SAFA CMA Management Accounting Summit and we'll have an opportunity to interact with their friends and colleagues and our foreign delegates will take back fond memories of their visit to Sri Lanka. Thank you very much. Thank you too, Professor Lakshman R. Watavala. Uh, just before we introduce and welcome to this lecture and our next speaker, I omitted to do this earlier, but it seems appropriate even now to mention that it would be a courtesy if mobile devices are either switched off or rendered silent at this time so that it doesn't intrude on the comfort of people. Now, as has already been mentioned by our previous speaker, a partnership exists with CMA and the larger body of the region SAFA, and we are privileged to have with us one who is already in a manner introduced by Professor Watavala, Mr. Mohammed Rafi, our next speaker. Honorable Mr. Jishad Batiuddin, Minister for Industry and Commerce, Honorable Mr. Lakshman Vatawala, 
I'm sorry, I have a sore throat. Mr. Lakshman Watawala, His Excellency, Mr. Bruce Levi, uh, High Commissioner of Canada, past President Safa, delegates from member bodies, Council members of CMS Sri Lanka, <coughs> Sri Lankan brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum. On behalf of South Asian Federation of Accountants, I welcome you all at this CMA SAFA joint conference on the theme of sustainability and corporate responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, as Mr. Watawala mentioned, South Asian Federation of Accountants is a body representing 10 professional accounting institutes in the SARC region. It is an apex body of SARC and it represents 230,000 accountants from India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Maldives, and Nepal, of course. We are in the process of setting up bodies, a member body at Bhutan. And of course, <coughs> our aim is to bring Afghanistan as well into this uh, accounting community. Honorable Minister, SAFA <coughs> is a recognized accounting grouping of International Federation of Accountants. Our members regularly exchange views with the leaders of accounting throughout the world by attending IFAC council meetings, international accounting standard boards meeting, and the objective of SAFA is to serve the public interest in the SARC region through accounting profession. And of course, our objective is to further strengthen the objectives for which South Asian Association of Regional Cooperation was established. Coming to the theme, <coughs> the issue of sustainability has never been more urgent as it has a direct bearing on the future of our society. Sustainability is the maintenance of responsibility having economic and social dimensions. Sustainability is important because whatever actions are taken today will have impact on the future and by taking sound decisions at present, we can avoid limiting the choices in future. The other aspect of the theme, ladies and gentlemen, corporate responsibility means maximization of value for shareholders by seizing the available opportunities and managing risks. Successful companies are always keen to adopt innovative approaches and strategies for achieving shareholders' value. In the long run, simultaneously taking up their social responsibilities for sustainable future of the group. This is no doubt, a big challenge for today's business leaders. I am not going to further take time 
because during the next two days, we have some renowned speakers talking on the subject. And also considering that I have a sore throat, but I will definitely mention and uh, fully compliment the role of Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka under the visionary leadership of Mr. Watawala, President, CMA Sri Lanka, towards development and strengthening of accounting profession, not only in Sri Lanka, but also in the SARC region. I also extend my heartiest congratulations to the organizers for selecting a very timely and very important theme on the sustainability and corporate responsibilities. I am sure that during next two days, the beneficiaries from this conference will be the participants who would be listening to the valuable thoughts from speakers all over the world. With these few words, Honorable Minister and other dignitaries at the dais, I thank you all and I thank Mr. Watawala again for hosting SAFA board and committee meetings and thank you to the participants as well for their patience hearing. Thank you very much. Thank you.